Mike Gardner. <laughs> Number nine, Timmy Claudette. <laughs> Number one, Allie Bronstein. You want to hear what's Number 18, Jade Smith. <laughs> Number 29, Marissa Rivera. <laughs> now let's meet the party starting lineup. Batting first and pitching number four, Maya. Batting second in center field, number 30, Danielle Hooper. Batting third, number six, Kelsey Jones. Batting third at that short shot, number 19, Sarah Wilson. Fifth and third base, number seven, Nikki Fenton Thompson. Right, Nikki. Sixth and left field, number twenty, Kylie Eslinger. Right, Got seven to first base, number eight, Katie Foster. Starting right. eighth in right field, number thirteen, Katie Bolt. Starting right. ninth, designated hitter, number twenty-nine. Come on, you Marissa Rivera. Yeah. And playing second base, number five, Clara Sack. Yeah. The coaches of the Tories are John Diego with assistant coaches Shannon Tracy and Corin Brun. Yeah. Now let's meet the Christian Patriots. Yeah. Number 10, Shannon Whitson. Yeah. Number 15, Marissa Chaplinski. Batting first, at catcher, number 24, Jenny Ray. Yeah. Batting second at second base, number three, Kelly yeah. Murray. Yeah. Batting third at third base, number five, Kelly Olsen. Yeah. Batting clean up at shortstop, number 12, Kelly Littlefade. Yeah. Batting fifth at left field, number 11, Jenny Ray. Yeah. Batting sixth on the mound, number nine, Renee Henson. Yeah. Yeah. Batting seventh at right field, number one, Stephanie Thrush. Yeah. Batting eighth at first base, number seven, Terry Murray. Yeah. Batting ninth at center field, number eight, Natalie Breeden. Yeah. The Patriots are coached by Roma Dawson with assistants Bobby Barrett and Kevin Murray. Yeah. Base Ed Rowers at third base, Shelly White, and behind the plate, David Hardy. Hi, everybody. I'm Dan Williams, and on behalf of George Langevin, Sports Video Productions like to welcome you to UC San Diego, home of Triton Softball. But today, it's not the home of Triton Softball, but the home of the CIF Championship Softball Games. We're right here on the field getting ready for the Division IV Championship Game. Number one seed Christian Patriots. They'll be on the field going up against La Jolla Country Day Torres. Torres coming into this game seated number six they'll be going up against the defending champions Christian Patriots Patriots going for a repeat we'll see what happens in just a minute stay with us so on the mound for the Patriots Renee Henson at number nine she'll face the first batter for the Tories number four Maya Shargiran ball low Maya Shargiran, pitcher for the Tories. One ball, no strikes, pitch on the way. So now one ball, one strike, the infield in very, very close. On the third base side, that's Carly Olson. Strike two called, so now one ball, two strikes to count to Shargiran. Infield, we've got Carrie Murray, number seven at first. Kelly Murray, her sister, number three at second base. Third base is Carly Olson. Shortstop is Holly Littlepage. In the outfield, you've got Jamie Ray, left field. 
Center field is Natalie Breeden, and right field is Stephanie Thrush. Behind the plate catching, that's Ginny Ray. Got a couple pairs of sisters out on the field, Kelly and Carrie Murray. Pitch on the way. It's a chopper back to the pitcher. Throw in time. So going one to three, that'll be out number one for La Jolla Country Day. And up to the plate now will be the center fielder, Danielle Kerper. Once again, you've got the infielders, Murray, Kelly, as well as Olsen in very, very tight. Pitch on the way is high for ball number one. Ball one called. Early morning game, 10 a.m. start here on Saturday. Chopper, this time taken by Murray. Murray steps in front with an easy throw, and now you can see why you got the infield in. The way that Renee Henson throws that ball to the plate gets a lot of ground balls. That's out number two. That one going four to three. Kelsey Jones. Two up and two down. Easy start of the first inning for Henson. Now at the plate, Kelsey Jones. Kelsey Jones, the catcher for the Tories. Nobody on, two out, top of the first inning. Overcast morning, slightly misty. It's been misting, if not slightly raining, all morning. Strike called right down the plate. No balls, two strikes, the count against Kelsey Jones. Pitch on the way. Chopper once again, this time back to Henson. Has the throw, it's a tough one. High throw by Henson. Murray can't handle it. And so on board at first base is Kelsey Jones. Chopper came in, just a high throw. So the first runner of the game on board for the Tories. And we've got a pinch runner now for Kelsey Jones. And that's Allie Bronstein. So Bronstein becomes the runner of record at first base for the Tories. Entering the game, running at first base, Allie Bronstein. And now up to the plates will be Sarah Wilson. Wilson at the plate with two outs. First pitch on the way by Henson. Gets by the catcher and easily making it to second base will be Bronstein. So Bronstein now moves on the pass ball, gets to second base with two outs. A little bit more activity now on the field. Henson in the windup. Swing and a miss. One ball, one strike against Wilson. On deck is the third baseman, Nikki Fenton Thompson. We'll see if she gets up to bat this inning. Foul tip on the move was Ollie Bronstein, or Allie Bronstein that is. She'll trot back to second base, had a good jump on the pitch. And you can see why she's the pinch runner, got a lot of speed out on the bases for the Tories. One ball, two strikes, pitch on the way. Chopper upfield, won't be handled, trying to come home, play at the plate, she's saved. Good heads up play by Allie Bronstein. Chopper up the middle was not handled. That gave Bronstein a chance to go to third and the aggressive play, she moves in. Play was at the plate, not handled by Jenny Ray. 
And so Bronstein for the Tories comes in to score. Moving over to second on the play is Sarah Wilson. Up to the plate, Nikki Fenton Thompson. All of this happening with two outs in the top of the first inning. Wow. Pitch on the way, a hard shot taken, and the throw is good. So three outs come up, but not before the Tories score first blood. They get one run in the top of the first, and coming up to bat now to see what they can do are the Patriots. So bottom half of the first inning for the Patriots, up to bat is Ginny Ray. It'll be Ray, Kelly Murray, and Carly Olson. First pitch is low for ball number one. Defensively for the Tories, on the mound and pitching, Maya Shardurin. Behind the plate will be Kelsey Jones. First base, Katie Foster. Clara Sachs, second base. At shortstop is Sarah Wilson. Nikki Thompson is at third base, followed by left field Kaylee Esslinger. Danielle Kerper, center field, and right field is Katie Foltz. One ball, two strikes against Jenny Ray. High, two balls, two strikes. Maya taking a little bit off that one, held on to it a little bit too long, got up and away. Two balls, two strikes. Inside and low. Full count now for Jenny Ray as she works against Myra shard -Yuron. For the Tories and head coach John Diego. Grounder back to Maya on the throw. Easy out. That one going one to three. That'll be out number one for the Patriots. So John Diego has got his team into the finals and after his uh, league of seven and six and in fifth place, I'm not sure if you would have asked him if he would have told you very strongly that he had the confidence that he'd be here in the finals game. But history is in the books and it is the Tories who've made it through the playoffs and find themselves up against not only the first seed in the uh, championship game here, but also after one half of an inning, find themselves out in front by a score of one to nothing. So right now, everything going well for the Tories. No balls and two strikes as Maya Shardiron comes out firing in against the first two batters. Off-speed pitch, just missing. Nice off-speed pitch by Maya. Kelly Murray has now one ball, two strikes against her, one out in the bottom of the first. Fouled back, another off-speed pitch. Well, early on, Shard Yaron showing her display of talent as she can fire the ball with some mustard and then come right back with some off-speed stuff, and that's going to keep the batters definitely off balance through the game. Pitch on the way, fouled. Count remains, one ball, two strikes for Kelly Murray. For the Patriots, seated number first, regular season total 17 and five, and there's a short fly, stays in the infield, taken by Sarah Wilson, and that's out number three after one inning of play. It's the Tories one, Patriots nothing. My mistake, getting ahead of myself, two outs. So that's out number two. And up to the plate is Carly Olson. Definitely don't want to give a, definitely give any type of jinx to the team at all. Swing and a miss to Carly Olson. Okay, so maybe it's just cold and damp and wanted to get the game over with. Off-speed pitch is high. Two balls, one strike now. 
to Carly Olson. Olson, third baseman for the Patriots. Low once again, three balls, one strike. Two outs, thank you very much. <laughs> My reminding even me. So losing Carly Olson on balls, trotting to first base, Carly Olson. Now with two out, Patriots have their first runner on board. And up to the plate now, Holly Littlepage, shortstop for the Patriots. In close, both Foster and Thompson. It's a grounder, and the force is at second. This time, that is out number three, the force taken by the shortstop, Sarah Wilson. And after a full inning of play, we'll say it again. Tories one, Patriots nothing. We head to the second inning. Tories. Kaylee Esslinger. Top of the second inning, Kaylee Esslinger for the Tories at the plate. First pitch to Kaylee is a strike. So no balls, one strike. And here comes pitch number two. Swing, and that one fouled downward so quickly for Esslinger. Goes in the hole. No. Looked like it was a foul tip. Looks like they're going to call it. That one ball. So now we got two balls and one strike. One ball, two strikes is the call. Pitch on the way. And that one is a swing and a miss, and so that's strikeout number one for Henson. Up to the plate now, Katie Foster, first base for Tories. Right down the middle, strike one. Katie Foster, first base, wears number eight for the Tories. Fouled off. Renee Henson working the ball up and down across the plate. No balls, two strikes, one out. Half swing, low pitch, that's ball number one. One ball, two strikes. Infield, straight away, shallow. Appeal is made. Appeal is made to the first base coach, and he calls it strikeout number two. So that's strikeout number two for Henson. As the appeal is made, and the first base umpire says that Katie Foster did make a swing on the play. Very, very interesting. Good heads up play. Slow roller, the speed is there, she is safe. Good speed by Katie Foltz. Ball barely got outside of the batter's box, but her speed helped her out, and so she is safely on board at first base with two outs here in the top of the second. Coming up now is the second baseman for the Tories, Clara Sachs. Sacks now at the plate will take the first pitch from Henson. And so the DH is at the plate. Marissa Rivera, number 29. So it's Rivera, the designated hitter, taking the first pitch off as a strike. Good jump on the ball by Katie Foltz. Foltz looking for a good jump again as the pitch is to be delivered. One ball, one strike. Foul ball called. Trotting back. Torrey's very aggressive on the base pass when they get a runner on board. In the first inning, 
came around and scored. Pitch on the way. Nice catch. Nice drive, but a nice catch by Kelly Murray. And that's the third out. So after one and a half innings, one to nothing, Tories. Tories won. You are watching the 2001 CIF San Diego Section uh, Softball Championship right. game, Division IV, Tories versus Patriots. At the plate for the Patriots in the bottom half of the second inning, it's Jamie Ray, left fielder. First pitch is a strike. Once again, off-speed pitch delivered by Shard Yaron. Just missing. One ball, one strike is the count. Ray sets this one high. Two balls, one strike. In the 2000-2001 season, more than 600,000 men and women across the state of California participate in one or more of the athletic programs. From freshman through varsity, we're talking high school. Right in San Diego alone, there's well over 50,000. Two balls, two strikes, pitch on the way. It's now a full count. So working the count full, Jamie Ray, see what she can do. Payoff pitch coming up by Maya Shard, you're on. Chopper, foul. We mentioned earlier that it's been misting all morning, and so that's kept the field and the dust at bay. There's not going to be any nature's way of watering down the field. Back to Shard Yaron. She's got it on the short hop. And that one going one to three for out number one. Hard chopper by Jamie Ray. And now up to the plate is Renee Henson, the pitcher. So it'll be Henson against Shard Yaron. Left handed. Batting pitcher Renee. Henson. This one low. Jan Jessup, the commissioner for the CIF San Diego section. Dennis Ackerman, the assistant. Ball number two. Well, George Langevin brings you all sorts of CIF championship action. Women's softball, men's baseball, football, soccer. Outside corner for a strike. If it's top prep action, you know it's going to be brought to you by the leader in sports coverage right here in San Diego, California. That's George Langevin Productions, GLP. Popped into the air out of play. So now the count, two balls, two strikes to Renee Henson. Again, off-speed pitch that can be such a killer, just missing to the outside. So now a full count against Henson. Three balls, two strikes, pay a pitch on the way. We'll see what happens. Swing and a miss. Big strike for Shard Yaron. Strikeout number one for her. And now coming up will be Stephanie Thrush, right fielder. Batting right fielder, Stephanie Thrush. That one is high. Thrush is a sophomore, so she's got a couple more years to go. Tries to bunt, fouls it off. Two outs, bottom half of the second inning. One to nothing is the score. Tories out in front of the defending champion Patriots. 
Strike two. One ball, two strikes is the count. Slow roller, speed on the base pass. Taking the ball herself was Maya. Slipped on the infield, could not come up with the play, and so safe at first base is Stephanie Thrush. And so coming up now will be first baseman, Carrie Murray. First baseman, Carrie Murray. So with two out, Patriots have a runner at first base and Murray at the plate. Murray's first plate appearance of the game. Steal is on, throw not in time. A good jump by Stephanie Thrush. Safely into second. So now in scoring position, Thrush, Kerry Murray looking to try and deliver a hit to bring Thrush around and tie this one up. No balls, two strikes. Strike is there, playing at second base, trying to draw some attention, Thrush. Behind the plate for the Tories, Kelsey Jones. Fouled off. Count remains, no balls, two strikes with two outs, bottom half of the second inning. At second base and trying to get home, Stephanie Thrush at the plate. Two strikes against her, Carrie Murray. Let's see if the off-speed pitch comes. Well, you think she's been throwing hard stuff all this time against Murray that you gotta expect there's gonna be an off-speed one coming here pretty soon. High again. Two balls, two strikes now, count has evened out. Thrush still dancing around at second base. Chargeron keeps throwing speed. Fouled out of play. Good job by Carey as she battles it off. Chargeron's been displaying every once in a while she's throwing that off speed pitch. We'll see what happens. Two balls, two strikes. She can afford at least to try and play around with it, see what happens. Swing and a miss, heat once again. And so Heron gets her second strikeout. And at the end of two full innings, once again, Tories one, Patriots nothing. Top of the third, the Tories will send Shard Yaron, Kerper, and Jones. And Shard Yaron puts down a nice one, beats out the throw, and for Shard Yaron, she gets on safely with her speed to first base. And so now it'll be Danielle Kerper, center fielder. With nobody out, Shard Yaron on first. Fielder, Way Cooper. up close defensively for the Patriots is Kelly Murray. Foul called. Once again, in tight is Kelly Murray. Second baseman on the right-hand side, third baseline in Carly Olson. Shallow straight away is the outfield. Henson with the ball will deliver the ball to Kerper. This one on the ground. The throw is in time. Nice jump by Shard Yaron. She moves to second. So it's Kerper that moves Shard Yaron along to second. One out. Kelsey Jones, the catcher now up, in scoring position, Shard Yaron. Danielle Kerper, out number one. Kelsey Jones made it safely on an error to first base. 
And then it was Allie Bronstein, who was the pinch runner that came around and scored in the first inning. Let's see if Kelsey Jones can be a spark again. Shard Uron at second base, one out. Count is one ball, no strikes, pitch on the way. Big swing, foul called. Count evens now, one ball, one strike. Holly Littlepage, shortstop, stands between Shard Uron and third base. Pitch on the way, coming up by Henson. This time it's a chopper. It stays in, and everybody's safe. Chopper just got outside of the box. Going after it was Jenny Ray on her knees. By the time she came up with it, it was going to be too late for a throw. And so Kelsey Jones on safely at first base. Along the action on the first base side, moving over to third is Shard Uron. And now once again, Ollie Bronstein comes in for the pinch runner, or as the pinch runner, and it was Allie Bronstein that came around to score in the first half, but we've got even more trouble for the Patriots. One out, runners at first and third, and now coming up to the plate is Fenton Thompson, third baseman for Tories. Ball gets loose for a little bit, and successfully moving now to second base is Ollie Bronstein. And now runners at second and third, and Henson and the Patriots are in a jam. Only one out here in the top of the third. Fenton Thompson takes the pitch. Once again, it's a slow roller. And a nice play at home. Nice play by Henson and Ray. The ball just ribbled out in front of the batter's box, charging and tossing the ball to Ray, who was totally covering the plate. Running from third, trying to score. Shard, you're on. She's called out. So a big, big play defensively by Christian Patriots. Third baseman, Nikki Fenton Thompson. <laughs> That's awesome. Swing and a miss. Two outs now. No balls, one strike. Strike two called. Moving to second base easily on the pitch. Sarah Wilson. No balls, two strikes, two out. At third base is Allie Bronstein. Chopper to third, the throw is right on target. And for the Patriots, they get out of a jam. Big, big defensive play at home played as Jenny Ray tags out the hard charging chard Uron at home plate. And after two and a half innings, score remains Tories one and the Patriots nothing. For the Tories in the third, no runs, two hits. Bottom half of the third for the Patriots, it'll be Breeden, Ray, and Murray taking ball one, Natalie Breeden, center fielder. Off-speed pitch. One ball, one strike. Breeden's first plate appearance in this game. Maya Shard-Duran has been very, very stingy in allowing base runners. Shard-Duran makes a high throw to first, and that allows Natalie Breeden to cruise into second base. It was a nice back in on a high chopper by Shard-Duran. 
she made the turn and just got away from her. Stretching high, trying to grab it out of the air was Katie Foster, just couldn't do it. And so Natalie Breeden on the air moves over to second base. So Ginny Ray now, catcher at the plate. Base runner, Natalie Breeden at second with nobody out. Again on the ground, just getting her on the throw was Shah Yaron, but on that play, moving over to third base is Natalie Breeden. And so now with one out, you got Breeden at third base. Coming up is Kelly Murray. Second baseman, Kelly Murray. Pop infield, waiting for it, taking it is Sarah Wilson. So a short fly into the infield will get out number two for the Patriots. Still standing at third base, Breeden. Carly Olson now up to bat. Carly Olson got on board on a base on balls in the first inning. Right down the middle, strike one. Pitch on the way. Fast pitch, throwing heat is Maya Shard, you're on. One ball, one strike, two outs, bottom of the third at third base, Natalie Breeden at the plate, Carly Olson. Olsen takes a big, big swing, fouls it back. One ball, two strikes. Two outs. Shaw, you're on, on the pitch. Just low. Count evens, two balls, two strikes. What will happen? She throw heat. Big swing and a miss, and that's strikeout time for Shah Duran. One runner left at third base after a full three innings of play. Tories one, Patriots nothing. We had to do inning four. Top of the fourth inning. First pitch on the way. That is ball number one. Torrey's out in front of this one by a score of one to nothing. Both these teams started out in first round of play. Chopper, nice grab. <laughs> Nice grab by Kelly Murray on the hot shot into the hole. Turned around and an easy lob to her sister, Carrie. And that's one up and one down. Kaylee Essinger. First baseman, Katie Foster. So now Katie Foster will take strike. Katie Foster, first base person for the Tories. Top of the fourth. This one low. Renee Henson in the second inning had two strikeouts, and that's where she stands in the strikeout category. Chopper, third base side, nice throw. So it was a chopper to Carly Olson. Olson, nice grab of the ball and a nice solid throw over to Kerry Murray. That one going five to three. And that's out number two. Batting the right fielder, Katie. Katie Foltz, right fielder for the Tories. Up to the plate. Foltz takes a swing and a miss. Strike number one. 
In the first round, it was La Jolla Country Day. The Tories going up against Vincent Memorial. Throw in time. Nice play by Renee Henson. Backhand, slight bobble, but kept her composure. Made the throw in time, and it was three up and three down. An easy inning for Henson. After three and a half, one nothing, Tories. Bottom of the fourth, Holly Littlepage comes to the plate. It'll be Littlepage, Ray, and Henson for the Patriots. Started talking about first round action. The Tories going up against Vincent Memorial and La Jolla Country Day. Game stopped after six innings as the score was 20 to one, so an easy walk in the park in the first round for the Tories. Nice base hit. Good job by Holly Littlepage. Solid base hit right up the middle. Good way to start off the bottom of the fourth for the Patriots. Batting left fielder Jamie. Coming up now, left fielder Jamie Ray. Jamie bounced out in the second inning, one to three. See if she can put something together. High pitch by Shard Yaron. One ball, no strikes against Jamie Ray. Ready to take off Holly Littlepage. Nice bun, it's on the ground. Does the job advancing Holly Littlepage to second base. Sacrifice for Jamie Ray. That'll be out number one. Again, Littlepage moving to second. Now with one out in the bottom of the fourth. Renee Henson will try and help her own cause. Swing, fly taken herself by Shard Yaron. And so the shallow fly in the infield taken for out number two. And that'll bring up Stephanie Thrush. Batting right fielder Stephanie Thrush. Thrush. Got on board in the second inning like to make something happen right here to try and bring around Holly Littlepage. Yes, Chopper, third base side, long throw, great dig out of the ground. Chopper on the hop by Sarah Wilson. The throw is low, the dig out of the ground. Katie Foster, one person left on base after a full four innings. Tories keeps that lead one to nothing. Yeah. Top of the fifth inning. Marissa Rivera at the plate. Rivera designated hitter for Tories. Inside, ball number one. For Christian, they had a buy in the first round. They didn't see action until the second round, or the quarterfinals, you could call it. It was Christian at that point in time going up against Santa Fe Christian. Santa Fe Christian had advanced from the first round by defeating Mountain Empire by a score of four to nothing. But when they came up against Christian, it was Christian on the shutout by a score of five to nothing. Rivera. One ball, two strikes is the count. Big swing and a miss. Big strikeout for Renee Henson. Strikeout number three. 
and that'll bring up Maya Shard Yaron, followed by Danielle Kerper Danny. now on deck. Pitcher, Maya Shard Yaron. Left handed batter. Very tight infield is Murray as well as Wilson. Pitch on the way by Henson. Line shot makes it to center field on the fly, taking it on the hop and a nice grab. Natalie Breeden. Breeden moving to her left very quickly, able to keep a hard shot from becoming any more than a solid single. Batting center fielder. Danielle Kerper. So a nice single by Shard Yaron will bring up Danielle Kerper, the center fielder. <laughs> On the move is Shard Yaron. Foul ball, so everybody comes back. In the quarterfinals action for La Jolla Country Day, the Tories, they went up against Bishops. Bishops. And that was a big, big, big game. And La Jolla Country Day coming out on top by a score of 6-4. to four. That was a huge, huge victory for the Tories. Then moving into the semifinals, it was Christian defeating Francis Parker and another big, big game, La Jolla Country Day defeating Horizon. So the Tories, their last two games have had huge, huge wins to get here to this finals game. And right now they are continuing that advantage as they are out in front of the defending champs, Christian. Tough, tough play, just got up and over Henson Moving over on the slow ball was Kelly Murray. By the time she got it and she looked around for a play, everybody is safe. So right now, everything going the way of Tories. Kelsey Jones. So Danielle Kerper now on at first base. At second is Maya Shard Yaron with only one out. The pitch on the way. Another solid shot. That's going to be a base hit. Coming home, now being held up, is Shard Yaron. So another base hit by Tories, specifically Kelsey Jones. And the Patriots find themselves in a big, big jam. Bases loaded with one out here in the top of the fifth. And now coming up will be Allie Bronstein as the pinch runner. So Bronstein. So here's the setting and a tough one for Henson and the Patriots. Bases loaded, one out, speed on the bags. And now Sarah Wilson, who found success in the third inning against Henson, can put the ball in play and cause the runners to advance. We'll see what happens right here. Big, big at bat. Chopper is fouled. Every pitch, every pitch has got to be in there or got to be able to produce a short chopper in, in deep the infield or in tight that is, infield for the Patriots. Here comes the pitch. Big swing and a miss by Sarah Wilson. No balls, two strikes. Can Henson help herself out? Let's see right here. Chopper, throw to home, safe, safe. Coming in again to score is Shard Yaron as well. Danielle Kerper on the pass ball comes in. 
And two big runs now have come in in the top of the fifth. The chopper by Sarah Wilson, taken by Kelly Murray, the throw to the plate, not handled cleanly by Ginny Ray. It's booted away, and that allowed not only Shard Yaron to come in to score, but Danielle Kerper. Big, big offensive inning for the Tories. Two runs in, only one out with Jones checked out with Allie Bronstein at third base. After a team conference on the mound, Patriots back in position at the plate. Third baseman Nikki Fenton Thompson takes strike number one. At third base, Allie Bronstein, she came around and scored in the first inning. Can she do it again? Chopper on the ground. Foul called. Ball never left the batter's box before it was picked up by Jenny Ray. No balls, two strikes, one out. Tories. Finding success against the pitch of Renee Henson. Right down the plate, caught looking, Nikki Fenton Thompson. That's strikeout number two of this inning and out number two. Kaylee Elzinger, left fielder at the plate. Bounced out four to three last time up. Just missing the First baseline, foul. A little late on the swing. Strike number one. Tories three now, three runs. One in the first, two here in the top of the fifth. Coming in to score, Shard Yaron and Danielle Kerper. At third base is the pinch runner, Allie Bronstein, for Kelsey Jones. One ball, no, or that is no balls, one strike. Right down the middle, strike number two. Looking for one more strike to get out of this inning is Renee Henson. Pitch on the way. Chopper, hard to handle, won't get it. Coming in to score again, Ali Bronstein. It was a hard chopper going after it. Kelly Murray got down on all fours, could not come up with it. And so safely on at first base is Kaylee Essinger coming in to score run number four for the Tories. Third run of this inning. And now another team meeting on the mound, a short one. Two outs now. Katie Foster, first baseman. Foster will come up to the plate. Tories. Really capitalizing on this inning. Three runs in. In for the Tories at first base. Runner, Kimmy Claudette. You heard it. Pinch running now at first base. Kimmy Claudette, number nine. At the plate, batting, Katie Foster. Foster is struck out, bounced out five to three. This is her third at bat of the game. Nice snag by Hanson. Quick reaction that will finally put to bed the offensive attack of the Tories. They come up with three big runs in the top of the fifth. And so after four and a half, it's the Tories four, the Patriots nothing. Batting, 
Number four, Aaron Ryan. So bottom of the f uh, fifth, that is, and we've got a change in the lineup. Aaron Ryan at number four comes in to bat for the Patriots, looking for a jump start. Let's see what Ryan can do. Aaron Ryan at the plate. Yes, yes, yes. And on one hop, it'll be taken. And the out is made. Clara Sachs gets it over to Katie Foster. Four to three, and that's out number one for the Patriots. Patriots looking to get something started here in the bottom Batting of the fifth. Center fielder Natalie Breeden. Natalie Breeden, number eight, the center fielder, got on base in the third inning on an error. And there just hasn't been any of those for the Patriots this morning. Shard Yaron has done a good, good job on the mound. And when she's got into a pinch, she's been able to get herself out. Two balls. Check that. Three balls, no strikes. Natalie Breeden trying to get on base. Takes strike number one, so now three balls, one strike. Breeden, sophomore for the Patriots. Yes, Natalie! Natalie Breeden does the job, gets on base on balls. Betting catcher Jenny Ray. And so now Jenny Ray will come up. Ray out in the third inning. Play going one to three on a chopper. And that's been the story in a lot of the hits that have been made. Contact on the ball, that is. Choppers on the ground. Big swing. One ball, one strike to Ginny Ray. Off speed pitch. Low, two balls, one strike. But we're not going to see sunshine, at least during this game. It is a cool, cool morning. Overcast, still spitting a little mist now and then. Outside, quick throw to first. And very calmly, <laughs> Breeden steps on the bag. So double eights at first base. It's Breeden for the Patriots. And Katie Foster for the Tories. Nice, solid hit and a nice, nice defensive play. Looked like it could be a solid base hit for the Patriots. But coming up with a nice shoestring catch, Danielle Kerper, number 30. Nice reaction by Kerper to come up and steal a solid base hit away from Ginny Ray. Batting second baseman Kelly. Murray. Well, while everything's going the way of Tories, Patriots can't find themselves any breaks in this game so far. Quick throw again down the first baseline by Kelsey Jones. Breeden easily back. Two outs in the bottom of the fifth. No balls, one strike against Kelly Murray. Murray's made some nice plays today for the Patriots. They've been putting Kelly Murray very, very close in to the left of Renee Henson. Swing and a miss. Check that, foul tip. No balls, two strikes, two out. Natalie Breeden sits at first base. Infield. Out of play. Infield set in normal positions. Same thing goes for the outfield straight away. 
No balls, two strikes. This one is high and outside. Again, a quick throw. Breeden got the braided pigtails at all. Pitch on the way. Into the air. And it was a soft fly that stays in the infield, taken by Clara Sachs. And that'll do it. After a full five innings of play, the Tories, big, big lead against the defending Patriots, score four to nothing. For the Patriots in the fifth. Top of the sixth inning, Risa Goldman, number two, now at bat, going up against Renee Henson. Swing and a miss, strike number one. And Risa Goldman has got a big, big smile on her face. She's excited to be able to be in the championship game, taking some hacks at the hard-firing Renee Henson. Makes contact on the foul. That'll be no balls, two strikes. Risa Goldman. Takes a swing. That's strike number three. But for Risa uh, Goldman, who is a senior, she gets to let everybody know that she's participated and played in the championship game, and right now it might be a success story. Tories out in front, commanding right now by a score of four to nothing. Everything has gone their way. Capitalized when they've had to on great uh, at bats, aggressive base running. Marissa Rivera. One ball, no strikes as she takes the pitch. It's a high fly to center field, calling off and making the play, Natalie Breeden. Nice job. So out number two for the Tories. And now coming up, top of the lineup, Maya Chargueron. Chargueron came around and scored in the fifth inning. Part of that big, big three-run inning. And the speed is there. The play was made in the hole by Holly Littlepage, but not in time as beating out the throw was Maya Chargueron. So she is on base, and she's had a very productive day at the plate. Batting center fielder, Danielle Kerper. Danielle Kerper now comes up with two outs and Chargueron at first base. Chargueron on the move. The throw comes in and it is made. Play going five to three. Carly Olson with the nice throw and that'll do it. So after five and a half innings, four to nothing, Tories. Coming up, trying to put something together, make something happen, will be the Patriots. Third baseman, Carly Olson. Bottom of the sixth inning, Carly Olson at the plate. Carly Olson takes strike one. Maya Shah Yaron has been on all game today. Firing heat and then sprinkling in an off speed pitch every once in a while. Bottom of the six, four to nothing. Tories. They are there's that off speed pitch. We talked about it. Caught looking on that one is Carly Olson, and so Olson called strike. And that's out number one for the Patriots. Back 
batting shortstop Holly Little. Holly Page. Little Page. Take strike one. Strike two at the knees. So right now in the groove is Sharn Duran. And she is mowing down the batters now. Two up and two down. Strike three called. Batting left fielder Jamie Ray. Fifth strikeout of the game for Maya Shard. You're on. Jamie Ray. Bouncer back to the pitcher and a nice one, two, three inning. That one going one to three. After full six, four to nothing. Tories. Number 18, Jade Smith. Top of the seventh for the Tories. Jade Smith now at the plate, her first plate appearance of the game. Still on the mound and the kit pitcher of record, Renee Henson. Renee Henson, last year named CIF San Diego Section Player of the Year for Division Four. And of course, the Patriots coming into this entire championship playoff. On the ground, tough throw, error. Holly Littlepage came up with the grounder, but it took off on her, and Carrie Murray just could not reach high enough. Murray, a tall, tall player, but that ball was way high. So on board with an error. Jade Smith. And for the Patriots, once again, struggling during this game. At the plate, Allie Bronstein. Allie Bronstein gets a chance to put the bat on the ball. Bronstein came on as pinch runner in the first, third, and fifth innings. Bad. Scored in the first and Bad. scored Bad. in the fifth. Bad. So Bronstein will try and help advance Jade Smith. Out of play on the attempted bunt. And Allie Bronstein has had a smile on her face ever since she first stepped onto the base as a pinch runner. She's having a great time out there. Right now the Tories, all of them are having a great time as they are out in front of the defending champions by a score of four to nothing. That'll put a smile on anybody's face. Strike two. On the move was Jade Smith. She moves over to second base. Strike two called against Allie Bronstein. Henson. On the pitch. Foul on the first base side. On the move was Jade Smith. She'll go back to second base. No outs. Top of the seventh. Four nothing. Tories. Soft into the air, and the easy catch made by Kelly Murray. And that's out number one. So Allie Brunstein having a very productive day as a, as a pinch runner, and then making contact on the ball against uh, Renee Henson. Not a bad day at the ballpark. So it's one out. A swing and a soft fly in the infield once again, and Kelly Murray takes it. Nikki Fenton Thompson flies out, and that's out number two. 
Batting left fielder, Kylie Esslinger. Kaylee Esslinger. Esslinger. Up to bat. Looking for her first base hit of the game. Fast speed pitch is low for ball number one. Still at second base, Jade Smith. Esslinger, big athlete, has some power. Low again. Quick throw towards second and a nice one. Nice stop by Murray. Well, you got the sisters, Kelly and Carrie Murray. Carrie first base, Kelly third base, and then you've got the Ray sisters, Jamie Ray left fielder, and Ginny Ray the catcher. On the ground, off the foot, recovered nicely, and the play is made. Renee Henson does the job for the final out, and so after six and a half innings of play, Tories four, for the Patriots the nothing. Seven, no runs, no hits, one error, one left on base. So Renee Henson starts off the final three innings of this game. And she starts off with a hot shot towards the hole and a beautiful, beautiful play by Sarah Wilson. Good bat on the ball. Looked like it was going to squeak through, but moving nicely towards the ball, Wilson. Then she had a throw right on the money to Katie Foster, and that is a great defensive play for the Tories. On the ground, this time to the third base side. Tough, tough throw by the third base person, Carrie Olson. Can't dig it out is Katie Foster, and so on base safely will be Stephanie Thrush. So Stephanie Thrush on board on the air. Batting first baseman, Kerry Murray. Looking for the quick throw back, trying to get a good jump with Stephanie Thrush. Kerry Murray takes ball one, as we've got one out here in the bottom of the seventh. Quick throw. Stephanie Thrush gets back in time. That's ball number two. So two balls, no strikes with one out to Carrie Murray. Pitch on the way. Throw, not in time. Stealing second safely is Stephanie Thrush. Good job by Thrush. Moves her over to second base on the steal. Two balls, one strike to count now to Kerry Murray. We've got one out here, bottom of the seventh. Into the air, it is playable, moving over, just missing it. Katie Foster. Count evens now, two balls, two strikes. Foster moved to her left, got close to the dugout and then just could not quite hang on to it. Nice job by Kerry Murray to hang off that. that was a fast high pitch. Easily one that you want to swing for to try and help your team. But she laid off on it nicely and now it's a full count. Three balls, two strikes, one out. Big swing and a miss, strikeout. Big strikeout for Maya shard run And that is now out Natalie, number two. Natalie strikeouts, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six strikeouts recorded in the game. Out number two. And trying to get something started. Natalie Breeden. Chopper on the ground. 
And they're going to call it foul. Down to the last out, the Patriots. Down to the last strike as well. No balls, two strikes, two outs. Natalie Breeden trying to keep the Patriots alive. On second base is Stephanie Thrush. Ball called. Well, last year it was all Patriots winning the championship. Renee Henson named player of the year. Safe call. Safe call. So Breeden beats out the throw, and the Patriots stay alive. Runners at the corners. Breeden and Thrush. Catcher Jenny Ray. Jenny Ray trying to put the ball into a safe area and drive somebody home. Runners at first and third. Jenny Ray takes ball one. On the ground, bobble. Not in time. Nice throw in the hole. Deep, deep. Sarah Wilson beating out the throw. Definitely. And a run scores coming across. Stephanie Thrush. And so now for the Patriots, they are not giving up easily, coming across Thrush. Ray safely on at first. Over to second base is Breeden. And so you got runners now, first and second. Ray at first, Breeden at second. Murray. Ball called on the off speed pitch. Patriots. One run in here with two out. A lot of things can still be done. Low again. Ball two. Now the pressure. Stounced the mount a little bit for Maya Shardurin. Ball three. So three consecutive pitches, three balls. <laughs> Chopper, third base, the force is there. And the final out is made, the force at third, and for La Jolla Country Day Tories, they defeat the defending champions, the Patriots from Christian High. Final score, Tories four, Patriots one. La Jolla Country Day Tories named the Division IV 2001 CIF San Diego section champions. Congratulations to head coach John Diego as they are celebrating out on the field and for the Patriots, valiant effort, but they could not muster up enough effort or runs to defeat Country Day. Country Day, it started this whole process starting in the first round and then the, the semi and quarterfinal action they got themselves here to the final game and it was all country day again final score four to one the tories the 2001 division four softball champions on behalf of george langevin sports video productions i'm dan williams and as always thanks for watching we'll see everybody
Carly Olson. Carly. Number seven, Carrie Murray. Number eight, Natalie Bruden. Number nine, Renee Hudson. Number ten, Shannon Wilson. Number eleven, Jamie Ray. Number twelve, Holly Lillipay. Number thirteen, Melissa Kuczynski. Number twenty-four, Jenny Ray. Mr. X, 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 Mr.